Hi, this is a short uh, demonstration of a simple spreadsheet that I've put together to help me to keep track of my leads and things within Excel Ace. Um, when you open this file, you should get this security warning because there's some macros in the background. So you just need to click on options and enable this content and click OK and then it will work for you. Um, what you'll see is just a bog standard spreadsheet. I've stuck in some headings here. So as you get an inquiry in, you would literally put in the date. So it's 21st of May 2013. The name of the person who's just um, made an inquiry. So it might be Bob. And Bob is from company A. Um, you can put all, all the uh, phone numbers, mobiles, um, just so that you have a record of all their contact details as well. Um, in this column, you just put what were they interested in. So if in the instance of XLA, they might be interested in a workshop. In this column, you could put in what the value is that you expect to be able to sell to them. So my workshops are £79, so you put that in there. What you'll see up at the top here is this formula calculates um, the total of that column, so it'll just keep adding on as we add new inquiries through. Uh, in this column, you could put in the source where that person has heard of XLAs from. So it could be that it was from networking that you've met them. Um, but there you can track, you know, if they come through your website, is it from social media, is it a referral from somebody, are they existing client? Okay, this column you can use just to add some notes. So you could put in that you've spoken to Bob. When you speak to him again in a week, you could update the notes as to, you know, maybe he's going on a holiday and contact him in June or, you know, whatever um, the, the notes are. So you can keep track of what's happening with each of these leads. Okay, these last three columns um, are really where the spreadsheet becomes quite powerful. Um, in this column, you can put in the action. So it could well be that I've set up a meeting with Bob, so my next action will be to attend that meeting. I might have arranged, and in this column, you can put in the date that I've arranged a meeting, so 28th of May. Um, now this column is the only one that isn't just your bog standard spreadsheet. Um, I've put in a pick list in here, so you'll see this arrow appears to the right of the cell when you click on it. You click onto the arrow, you get a list of three different options, and in that cell you'll only be able to enter one of those options. So at this stage, the status of that inquiry for Bob, he is still a potential client. So if I select potential from that list, you'll see that the whole row changes to yellow. Um, so that enables me to easily identify which of the um, potential clients and which ones aren't. Um, if I was to choose client, then client turns green and dead. So if Bob, after we have the meeting, says he's not interested, I'll change him to dead so he will go black. So it just focuses my, my attention when I'm looking at this spreadsheet to effectively ignore all the black ones for the time being. Okay, so I'll put Bob back to potential. Um, so that is as simple as it is to enter your information in there. Um, this sheet here, I've just set up some dummy information, so I've already populated it with quite a few inquiries. You can see there's a, a mix of colours, um, where I've said some have turned to clients, some are still potential, and some have gone dead. Um, the total of this sheet is 35,940, so there's virtually 36 grand worth of business gone through potentially this spreadsheet. Um, what I can then do is use these filters, so there's a little drop down arrow at the top of every column. So on any one of those columns, I can um, click on the drop down list and I can filter by the colours. So like I say, just show me the yellow ones. So I filter by yellow, this is all potential business. You'll see that this value up at the top changes, so that adds just a total of those potential ones that we've filtered it by. So potentially, if I was to turn all of these leads into business, I've got 14, nearly 15 grand worth of business there. So that's quite a motivating factor for me to actually pick up the phone and follow up these inquiries now. The other thing you can use a spreadsheet for um, is the date of the next action. So using your filters again, when you use a filter on a date column, it groups everything into months and years for you. Um, so at the moment, select all has been ticked, so it's showing everything in that column. I can narrow that down and just say show me May. I can also expand May and pick out a, a particular date or a particular week. Um, but for now, we'll just say show me all of May. So it narrows down that list again. These are all my potential leads that need further action during May. So that then effectively becomes my to-do list, um, what I need to work through. As I work through these things, I can update the notes, I can then update the, the action and the date of the next action, and again, I can just update the status if you know they turn to a client or they become dead. 
okay so just putting your information in that that way um, then becomes quite powerful that you can actually use it really usefully okay the other things that I've done here I've added two other sheets and um, these are both red so that indicates because I just use color coded for everything indicates that these are pivot tables and the pivot tables will take all of this information and summarize it for us um, and I've set these up for you already so if you click into the source as you click onto that sheet it will update for any changes that we've just made to the other spreadsheet so what this pivot table is showing is everything that has a status of client and you can just change those as you need to if you wanted to look at the different um, the different statuses and then it lists for us um, the value um, of everyone who's turned into a client based on whatever uh, referral source that I've I've put in so there you can see that £19,000 has turned into business and this then charts exactly the same thing so 61% from networking 26% from social media 13% via referrals so that really focuses me that the the main thing that brings in business for me will be networking um, I can also see that there's nothing and um, there's no referrals that have come through uh, for example my website and um, so therefore it might be something that I want to consider looking at and making that generate more business for me um, so very useful tool this second sheet here is actuals and pipeline now what this does and um, you've got a pivot table here that shows by month and by status so that's at 35 nearly 36,000 pounds worth of business and this is showing the different statuses and what the values are for those statuses and then obviously it graphs them here if I just right click and press refresh and you get pound signs in here and um, what this chart is showing is that the green line is all those dead so for me I'd be quite happy just to keep an eye on that and make sure that those um, the values of the dead leads are not creeping up much higher than this and not everyone's ever going to say yes to you obviously um, but as long as that's not going sort of up and up and up that would indicate a problem and um, the blue line is showing the values um, that turn to actual business so you can see that it's always been over four thousand pound so that is generally what my sales would be so that that's going great um, from April um, obviously that will be actuals um, because we're still in May um, we potentially at this stage wouldn't have had anything turn into business so that indicates this red line which is all of the potential which is effectively your pipeline going forward and the trick really is to make sure that your pipeline is almost at the same level or the expected level of your sales so it looks like for me I've got business in the pipeline for May and June at my expected level of what my sales are so therefore I could be quite happy but unless I generate some more um, leads to top up my pipeline, July and August, um, I am not going to achieve my normal level of sales. So that would pinpoint me towards saying, right, what is my best way of generating leads? Go back to the source. Ooh, networking. So I know that July, August, I need to do some more networking so that I can build that pipeline so this line starts coming up here. All of this information is generated by simply populating this spreadsheet, which is very, very simple to do. Um, so I'm going to set attach this file for you um, and have a go for your own business and just see how you find it. Um, obviously, this can be adapted for however you need it. The colours can be changed. You can change these statuses to something more suitable for your business. Um, but it's just a very, very simple tool to use, but it's very, very powerful. Um, please don't hesitate to give me a shout if you need any help with it. Thanks.